Hello everyone, this is Vicki Stitch and Button, and today is August 9th, it's another Wednesday, and I am here to give you my bi-weekly update. <clears throat> this is floss tube number 139. I have a bunch of stitching that I've done, even though I haven't stitched the, much the past couple of days, but apparently I have over the past couple of weeks, I didn't realize it until I started pulling out the pile. I have my giveaway winner, I have more things to give away because I went through some stuff and decided to put more in my giveaway box that's getting full. So we're going to give some more stuff away. Guys, it's hot. I know a lot of people are going through this heat wave and I know I live in Florida, but Frank and I were talking the other day and we don't remember it in the 10 years that I've been down here. I don't remember it being this hot for this long. I mean, day after day after day. It's, the it feels like, it's been getting at like 90, 95 degrees, well, 90 to 92. <clears throat> but the feels like has consistently been over 100. Today, I think it's 113. And it really does feel like that. Uh, when I take the dog out, I make sure that I'm in the shade and let him do his thing. And I'm calling him, I, I know he wants to lay out there, but it's just too hot whether he likes it or not. So, can't be roasting my dog. So, it's been hot. The AC can barely keep up. So, not much going on house-wise. You know, you do little bits at a time and trying not to use the oven and stuff, for sure. Let's see. I do have coffee. I have iced coffee that I made. And I finally went and did my nails again. This is uh, Color Street. I wrote it down. It's called How You Dune, D-U-N-E, How You Dune. I like that color. So th those nails are finally growing back. A lot of my nails broken and I cut some down. But I was happy to be able to put some nail polish back on them, or the strips anyway. I also have uh, a couple of things that I bought that came in. I am working on bags. I have been working on bags. I finished 15 of them yesterday because I had them up to the point where I just had to trim them and stuff. And I got 15 done. Finally, they're all done and dusted, except for the zipper poles. I've got another 17 to go. So I've been keeping busy, one way or another. My kids were supposed to come by on Tuesday. Well, two of my kids, Alex and Gina, and uh, my daughter's flight was delayed by four hours because she just is moving down here into the Tampa area, which is a couple, two and a half, three hours away. Alex is up north in um, Ocala, which is about four hours away. So they didn't get to come over on Tuesday, but they're going to come down this weekend. So I'll be able to see my kids for the first time in a while. My daughter, I don't think I've seen her in four years. Alex, I saw around 4th of July weekend or something like that. I think he came down for a day. I don't know. I've seen him since, since New Year's at least once or twice. So, uh, I know, only four hours away you'd think I'd see more often, but he works a lot, and my car's not great, and his car's not great, so it's not, it, I, we just don't make the trip. We call each other and text each other really screwed up things to make each other laugh, so there's that. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh, it's my shirt. Today's forecast, 100% chance of stitchy butt. I got this one from, and I know I've shown it before, I got this one from That's So Kelly. I don't know if she still has the t-shirts, but I've got it a while ago. Well, let's get into it. Okay, I have a list of things to do to remind me of what I'm doing. So, my featured old chart. This one I actually just bought. Um, I had, I don't know, I think I had a copy of one of the patterns from years and years and years ago. And I don't know what happened to the actual booklet. So, I went online on eBay <laughs> Well, I just did a Google search and I found it on eBay and it's carousel horses. I have always loved carousel horses. I don't collect them like I did before. I've gotten rid of the ones I had collected because after a while, tchotchkes are tchotchkes. And, uh, but I want, I, I started, I looked it up and I said, you know what? I want to stitch at least one because I've never stitched a carousel horse. And 
I like this one. Anyway, so this is from 1988, by the way. Count on Cappy. You can still find them reasonably priced, although you won't find them brand new, obviously. But you can find them reasonably priced on eBay and stuff. So just do a Google search for it if you're interested. The one I really want to do is the Philadelphia Toboggan Company one. That's the one I definitely plan on kitting up to stitch. I don't know that I'll stitch any of the others. We'll see. But I think at least I'll stitch this one. So I don't know when I'll kit it up. Maybe sooner or later. I don't know. I get into these things. These... I, I, I get into zones where I'm like kidding up all the stuff or I want to start all the stuff or I don't want to start anything. And every once in a while it hits me. I'm like, you know what? I really want to kit it up. I'm pulling this out to see. All right. It's 159 by 152, which is a medium technically. And on 18 count, it would be almost eight by eight and a half, 14 count. I wonder if they're doing that over one. Yeah, no, 14 count, 11 and 3 eighths by 10 and 7 eighths. So just a little bit over 11 inches by almost 11 inches on 14 count. I'll probably do mine on even weave or linen, depending on which fabric I find that I like. Huh. Of course, the one I put, these have this back stitch like shadow piecing. This one doesn't, which I'm kind of glad for because I don't know that I'd want to do all that too. I mean, it makes it cute, but what a big pain to rear end, huh? Anyway, okay. That's enough time on that. So that's actually a purchase and um, my old chart. The giveaway winner. Uh, there were only four comments and it was for this Moonlight Garden and or Moonlight Gardens. It's a full coverage. And I use the random common picker, not the name brand one, because it's not, won't let you do a keyword unless you pay for it, so I had to find another one. And the winner is Lady Marmalade in Stitches. I don't think I have your address. I don't know what your real name is, if I do happen to have it. So contact me. My information is down below, and I will get this out to you. Next up, let's do... Let's do sporadic giveaways throughout the video just because I can, okay? So the first one is, this one is You Are Loved and it's a Bits and Pieces by Homespun Elegance. Old chart, another old chart. Uh, does it have a year on it? Looking, looking, looking. I don't see a year on it. It's an older one, I know that. Anyway, moving on. So, if you are interested in winning this, loved, L-O-V-E-D, is the keyword. So, loved. All right, let's get into what I'm stitching. I went and picked up my F is for Friends and Flowers from the Sweetheart Tree. It was a kit. I started this last November at the uh, Stitching in the Springs retreat. I had only gotten a little bit done. It is small but mighty, I must say. And there's a lot of stitches in those girls. Basically, what I stitched, and I didn't write down the stitch count, is I pretty much finished the full stitches on the ladies and the quarter stitches, because there's quarter stitches in there, too. I have not done any of the back stitches on them. I think you could still find these kits around. I don't think they're out of print. This is from 2007, originally. I got some in my eye. <sighs> anyway, so I don't know when I'll pull those out again. They did get their 300. I know that I did do at least 300 stitches on those, so they got their 300 for the year. They may or may not come back out again. You'd think it'd be a quick stitch. No, it's not. I did have a new start. At the end of the month, I received a package from J Long, and in it was part of what she got from, it was an under the sea mermaid box. And she sent me this, it's kitted up. It's called Sea Hag. Uh, the designer is Odd, 
you know, right over there. Odd and Familiar, and that's Amy Jane, who works with uh, Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. She is the one that designed this, and I am doing the one that says... Well, it says, Sea Hag, noun, a mermaid before the first cup of... And I'm doing the one that says first cup of coffee. There is another option that says first cup of tea. And of course, I'm doing the first cup of coffee. This came all together with the fabric to stitch it with, the threads, and the finishing pack. And Jay Long sent it to me. It is being stitched on 32 count linen under the sea fabrics. Uh by the name of Ophelia, and the Dinky Dye Silk is turquoise. That's how far I got. I want to say that's about 500 stitches. So I'm happy with that start. Not sure when she'll come back out, but I got it started. Anyway, I loved it. Thank you, Jay Long. Let's get this away. I did not even pick out a project bag for it yet. I'll get there. But for now, it'll be in here. Because it works. Next up, Stitching with Friends. This was an exclusive for the Stitch West 2021 uh, retreat that I was at. And uh, it's from Little Stitch Girl. She has now since released this one. And so you can get that at your uh, local needle workshop. I did not, that's not my color aesthetic. So I went and changed out the colors for mine. Mine's being stitched on 36 count Vicky Clayton linen with some miscellaneous silks for you. I got um like a short ends package or some kind of variety pack and plugged in the colors for different symbols and this is how it's turning out so far basically what i've stitched is everything here i had all the rest of this all done and i stitched all of that there and uh that was 471 stitches total so far so it's got its 300 stitches in for the year i'm using the needle minder that they gave us at the retreat so, I don't know if it's going to come back out yet. Maybe yes, maybe no. Depends. I think the last time, my last video, I wasn't quite done my monthly piece on Guardians of Notre Dame. I am doing a section a month, although this was my already done, so that was my January and I'm moving my way around, so December will be the center to finish it off. This is being stitched on 32 count Victoria Motto linen, Victoria Motto sampler shop linen. Their color name is Shadow. I don't know if you can get it anymore. It was a monthly. And I'm using all the call for DMC. And I know I had basically the back stitch left to do. And that's what I did. I did all the back stitching. So that section's done. And now that it's August, I can start doing my August portion, which I just haven't started yet. But I'm happy with it. Looks so good. That minder is available on my group. I still have some of those left. I'll put this one away. Next up, I did some full coverage stitching. I went and pulled out this kit that I received from Vicki Reading and Stitching. And it's Lady and the Tramp, and it was the mini kit. I ended up doing just 103 stitches on it. I did switch out the fabric to be this even weave. It's, um, I think it's a 16 count. Wait a minute, I'll tell you. It's a Job one. It just says Job one white. Let me see. 32 count. 32 count. 
So here is where I'm at with that. What did I stitch on? Basically, I remember doing some blues and pinks. So I wanted to fill in what was left in here. There's still one stitch I haven't filled in. So basically, I was doing that typewriter method that they, uh, I know I've heard Colette talk about it, where you just take a color and go with it. So I decided to move down with it instead of across. I did end up doing some of them here just because the colors were there. I think I was staying within a 40 stitch range across and then moving down from there, if I'm not mistaken. But I got some stuff in. I got a 103 in anyway which was better than no 103. So it will come back out because I haven't done the, the total 300 stitches. Um, let me see. I have a total of 156 stitches done on it for the year. So it'll get more stitching in. This is not on my pattern keeper, so it's a little bit slower going. Something else that made a, an appearance was Maurice. I got a good bit done on him. This is a panic kit. I am using their floss, but I swapped out the fabric for 32 count murky from Picture This Plus. And I really like the way it looks on here. I finished all the full stitches over there. I also filled in some more of his snout around here. I think... Um, yeah, I think I moved down here and I filled in a whole bunch there and finished up all this and I even started some back stitching. So, my plan of attack with this, first of all, I wanted to get um, a length of thread, like that thread a day type thing. So, let me take that out. Where's my paper? Hot mess over here. Okay, here it is. I have finished into, by the way, when I printed it out, I just printed it on some uh, scrap of paper. So it was plain on one side. I have stitched up to March 11th. So that's how many threads I've put in up to March 11th. So my plan of attack on this is do some full stitches and then do at least a strand or two of back stitching because there's going to be a lot in there. I did make one small mistake because on the chart, the black back stitching is a black line. There's a brown back stitching, which is a dark gray line, and they're kind of hard to differentiate. So when I first started, I did all this in black and it should have been dark brown, but I'm going with it because it's supposed to be this color, this dark brown, which is fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. And then this is supposed to be black. So I did at least two strands of, or three strands of back stitch, and then a whole bunch of snout stitch, what we'll call snout stitch. So I'll swap back and forth. I'll put in some back stitch there and then fill in just to keep me on track. I think he's looking good. Also, this needle minder is available on my group still. Here's my back, if you're interested. It's not too bad, I've had worse backs. All right, how many stitches? Did I write down how many stitches? I got in 727 stitches on him last month. I don't think that's too bad. He's in a bag that Vicky Reading and Stitching sent me, because it's got Mooses, Mises on it. She made this for me. For Maurice. Okay, let's do another giveaway. I had interest in a while back, I think it was last year, I had started stitching on Narcissus. It was a freebie flower design that I gotten from online. Well, in going through my charts, I found the whole 12 month pack that I had printed out and stapled. And it's from 98, 1998. So I probably printed them out in 99. Um, 
The designs are Douglas designs. I don't think they're available at all anymore. But I found the whole 12 months, and it's just the charts. They don't have any pictures. So that's January. Um, the November one. That's the one I was stitching. So I decided I'm obviously not going to stitch them. I'm not interested. So if you would like these freebie, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. They look to be about 65 by 65. About. Six, maybe 68 by 60 oh 67 by 67 look at that if you read reading is fundamental anyway 67 by 67 if you'd like to win these comment with flowers flowers all right next up on the pile of what i've stitched bookshelf spun the wheel for arbitrary august and ended up with bookshelf so this one is being stitched on 32 count lamb's wool linen with the called for dmc and i'm using diamond i think that's the way you pronounce it diamond metallic which i see the error my ways now i should have used one strand and i used two and that's why it's as bulky as it is but it's fine it's fine i'm gonna keep on going i'm not gonna change it out now i'm definitely not ripping it out it'll probably shred my fabric but it's looking good i did 600 no I didn't write it down. That's what I didn't do. Hang on, I have it here. Let's take a look. The bookshelf. I did 321 stitches the other night, uh, Sunday night. 321. I'm going to write it in now. 321 stitches. So it's got its 300 in for the year. I may or may not pick it up again. It's looking good. I'd like to finish at least the top part, maybe this year. And all I worked on was the books. That's all I ended up working on. Amazingly enough, that was enough stitches. So I think the last time I showed this, uh, oh, no, it's not these books. That's why it doesn't look like as much. It was these books. I hadn't quite finished the red book. They still had the top stitches to do. So I finished a red book, put in the green, the brown, the dark brown, and the lighter brown. And then I put in the gold down here. And that was 321 stitches. So I could try for at least for the end of the year to finish up the books here and then put that flower pot in there. And then there's the little doohickeys that go in here. And then maybe just save the bottom for the for next year. So I don't think it'll be finished this year, which is fine. I got um, a keychain from J Long, and I ended up using it as a floss ring for this one. Here is, if you haven't seen it, the DMC Diamond. Like I said, I. I guess when I looked at it, I thought maybe it needed two strands, but as I'm stitching with it, I probably could have gotten away with one and it would have been fine and it probably would have laid nicer. But it's there's not that much more on, on there to stitch with the gold, so I'll just finish it up with the way I was doing it. All right, I spun the wheel for Arbitrary August and ended up spinning for Native American Angel. There are... A whole bunch of angels if you didn't know there's even more than this i know there are um but this is the one i am stitching and i started this for Indig indigenous people's day in 2020 that was in october i'm it is a day in october it is being stitched on 32 count navajo treasure from fortnite fabrics and I was able to get in 343 stitches. And here she is. So I had messed up a little bit in this feather. And I had I put in the wrong color. I knew it sort of looked wrong and I just left it. I had left myself a note because I, 
I scanned the pattern, put it in my, um, as a PDF in my Adobe Acrobat. And so I make, wrote myself a note. I've since fi fixed it and I added to it. And there she is. I worked on her poncho here and in that feather. I'd like to see her come back out this year. No promises, but I'd like it. I do have those available in my uh, Facebook group. It says, Know Your Worth. Those are the 50% off folder, if you're interested. All right. I put her in this bag that I made for it. It's got feathers and stuff. All right, next, spun the wheel and ended up with a way we ride, which is one I just started last month. This is Blackbird Designs. They put it out as a reprint so you can get it. And this is being stitched on 40 count hazelnut cream from Grace Notes. It was one of my monthly uh, fabric of the months recently. And this is how far I've gotten. Lots of house. So I filled in a lot in here. I ended up doing, let's see how many stitches I got. I, the first time I worked on it, I got 600 stitches. I worked it, on it for two more days and I got another 406 stitches. So I've gotten a thousand six stitches on this and I'm still not done the house. I am not using all of the called for fa uh, threads. I'm using some of them. And I didn't want the little plus sign at the top of the house, so I sort of made it look like a bat or, or a bird or something. Added some more. This uh, needle minder right here is available in my group. I don't know if you can hear, but there's thunder. It's gonna, it's gonna rain again. You know, I was at Walmart the other day, and again, it was, the feels like was like 111 or something stupid. And it, we went, went in, we did our shopping, and it poured while we were in there. You could hear it. And when we came out, it had stopped raining, the sun was out, and it was hotter. And you couldn't breathe. It, it, it just looked like somebody must have ran the hose because the ground was wet, but it was sunshiny. It was so humid you could barely breathe getting to the car. It was it was ugh, disgusting. All right, let's do another giveaway chart. Next one up. Uh, this is from Little House Needleworks. It is called My Needles Work. And the keyword for this one is needlework. So if you're interested in winning this one, put needlework. I spun the arbitrary August wheel. In case I forgot to tell you in the last video or you didn't watch it, I'm doing a version of arbitrary August and basically I put in about 20 different projects in my arbitrary August wheel and I'm trying to get, and, and I think most of them, a, a good majority of them, have not received their 300 stitches for the year. So I figured every time I get the 300, get the goal on that, then I'll go and spin it again. Every day except for last night, I've been able to do the 300 stitches in the one night. Last night, I spun Peacock Majesty, and I'll show it to you. Oh! <gasps> Yeah, it's going to take me a minute to get the 300 because it's all blends. There's 35 blends in it. All right, so the next one is I spun this Tis Halloween booklet. And that's the one I'm doing. I'm doing a few of them. Not all of them, but I'm doing a good bit of them. I'll probably do that that one also. And that one. But, uh, so this one is called Deadly Nightshade. And that's the one I had started with. I am putting them all on this uh, piece of 30 count cocoa linen from Weeks Dye Works. I had a half yard of it and I just marked it out to where I'm going to cut the fabric and I just kept all the fabric together because I'm not sure how much I'll actually need. So I cut it, right? What did I do on this one? I ended up getting 312 stitches in on this and I almost positively 
want to pull this back out probably this month. I think I'm going to leave it out because it doesn't have much left. The only thing that was done on there was this little bit of cup, not even the whole thing. One of these flowers, the little bits here. This wasn't even started. So everything else you see here, I stitched. So that means I just have that top flower. If you look. I have this top, this flower to finish. I have that top flower. And then this checkerboard situation over here. And I'll be done. So I think I want to pull it back out and at least finish that stocking. So I can start the other one. I'm using the call for threads. And I bought multiples of each. And put them on this ring. So this one's only two colors. So I just have the two colors right there. And I made myself this thread keep. And it looks like the next, I have printed my working copies. So the next one on this page is the Halloween stocking. So I'll probably just go on to that one so I can get rid of the working copy page. And that's all one color, so it shouldn't even take that long. I say this all the time, and you know, you guys know the rules. As soon as you say, oh, that won't take long, or ever. But I think this is going to stay out. All right. Next up. This chart. Let's do another freebie chart. This one will get right into a regular letter size envelope or legal size envelope. And it's this Tropical Santa. This came from 2009 Stony Creek. It's February 2009 Stony, Stony Creek Magazine. And I think you use uh, rainbow blending thread, two strands, iridescent pale blue, and a red you need for it. The, uh, oh, they are, they, you're good. Do this with what you like because there's no way. Somebody was smoking crack. Rainbow gallery whisper thread for his beard and the pom-pom and the hat, you know, the hat part. They want you to use colonial knots with whisper thread. Somebody done lost their mind. So, it gives you regular stitches to stitch it with. So, you can just do it in white and maybe you want to add some whisper or something like that. Maybe you, if you're bold enough to do the colonial knots on them, I want to see. You have to message me. I need to see this. Because <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> anyway, so if you'd like to win this... And lose your mind trying to do colonial knots with whisper thread. Go ahead and comment with the word Santa. I should have said crackhead. But Santa will be the keyword. I never even read that. That is crazy. I knew it was kind of fluffy. <gasps> Lost their damn mind. Alright. I have two more charts I'm going to give away too. So, next up. I stitched on this just the other night. This is Clockwork Bird. From Panna, it's a kit. I changed out the fabric. I want to say, did I change out the fabric? Maybe I didn't. I think I'm using, yep, kit, kit even weave. It's white even weave. I think it's a 32 count. And it's all the kit flosses. And here we go. I did. Uh, last time I worked on it, I could have sworn I worked on it since then, but apparently not. Last time I worked on this was the 9th of August last year. And this time I worked on, on it on the 7th of August. Last year I put in 302 stitches. This year I put 304. <laughs> so I'm doing better. But basically what I filled in was the tail. I did some filling on the tail along with this blue and that blue or turquoise, whatever you call it. And the start of that wind up key up there. So I did a little bits here and there, but yeah, the major part was in here and here and a few stitches here. So he's looking good. This needle minder is available in my group still. I don't know if he'll come back out this year. Maybe I'll, what did I say? I stitched him on the 9th, the 7th. Maybe I'll just stitch him on the 5th of August next year. We'll see. And I'll put in 307 stitches. All right, 
that was the last thing as far as what I've stitched. Put that there. Uh, what else is on my list? I still have Halloween boxes available. Basically, the Halloween box that I'm offering has a uh, an exclusive bag and other goodies in it. It's a hundred dollars, fifty dollars down now, and then the fifty dollars. Sorry, the dog's knocking the table. Fifty dollars plus the shipping at the end of September, um, or you can pay the whole thing now. It's up to you, but uh, that's uh, there's still some available. Uh, Lady Marmalade and Stitches. Don't forget to contact me one way or another, whether it be through the Stitching Button email, which I probably should check because I don't think I checked in a couple weeks, or message me on Facebook or on Instagram. And then I have some things that I got in the mail, purchases, etc. Oh, I do have one more thing to show you as far as stitching, but let's do this giveaway of this. This is Celtic Angel. And this is Barbara Betts. Almost positive. I thought I was going to stitch her. I really did. I'm not going to stitch her. So I'd rather just give her away to somebody that will. It's really pretty. So if you are interested in winning this, Angel. Angel is the keyword. I do have one more thing to show you that I stitched. A lot of times I put my charts in this Pendaflex folder, by the way. And I know that this one's in here. So let me pull it out. All right, here she is. This is Teresa Wensler's Peacock and Unicorn Petites. Petites, Peacock and Unicorn. This is Peacock Majesty. That's the one I'm stitching. I got this signed from her way back in the day early 2000s I don't know I think it was probably like 2007 or something what year is this chart this is 1999 but I'm pretty sure it's like 2005 to 2006 somewhere around there anyway so that's the one I'm stitching I am stitching it on is this it's like a baby blue even weave from witch Help. i think it's from witch Help. and i've only done a hundred and something stitches there are 35 blends in here i thought my plan of attack when i picked this up was going to be to finish this group of fruits and leaves in the corner and i was stitching two and a quarter stitches, three and a quarter stitches, one and a quarter stitch, one quarter stitch over here of each color. And it was driving me crazy. I'm almost done in there, but I figured, you know what, just for the sake of actually getting some stitches in, I did move down and start in the branch. And I've now gotten in a, a little bit over a hundred stitches. She'll get her 300, but whew, it's, you earn it. You definitely earn it with these. That's a, a Mary Englebright pin that I had that I made into a needle minder because it all blends in together, right? The old Teresa Wensler and Mary Englebright that was all the same genre, the same year, same generation is the word I'm looking for. And just so you know, I know I had put this in my video before, I went and got the blends chips from Atomic, Atomic Cross Stitch, I think is what her name is. And I'll look it up and put it in below. But I had gotten the blend chips from her because there's 35 blends. And basically just put each number. And then I went a step further and I numbered my blends. And I'm trying to see. So on the chart... On the thread list, I went and numbered each one of the blends. 1 to 35 as they went down the list. The ones that are singles, I did not number. And I originally had them 
on this fabric, as a matter of fact. I used to load up a bunch of needles at once. And I still have some loaded, apparently, that I'll use to keep an eye out on that. Anyway, so, and I, I'd put them on here like this. Which is, is fine if you can't afford the chips and you have the uh, extra fabric to do that. And you have a bunch of needles. It works. It works great. So, I was able to find these chip blend, the blends chips. And I decided to go ahead and get them for here. That way, I cut my lengths. And then this is blended already on the side. So, I... I I pulled one full length here, one full length here, put it together, cut it in half, right? Put, because it's a long length, put the extra here, and then I stitched with the other one. So then I have one ready to go. Um, on top of putting the regular DMC numbers on there, I numbered the chips. You can barely see it, but it's in black Sharpie. You can get that off with alcohol later. But I numbered the chips so I know what number blend I'm stitching with. And then I have the rest of the single colors on floss cards. Or floss drops, I should say. I ended up putting this on... I had a working copy I was using, but then I just ended up putting it on uh, as a PDF into my PDF reader so I can blow it up because it's hard to see with all the quarter stitches in it. It's... If you've never seen a Teresa Wensler, that's the corner I'm working in, okay? There's tons of quarter stitches in there. There's going to be tons of back stitching in there if you can blow it up because the quarter stitches, although it's crisp, it's so small to read unless you have really good eyesight, which I don't. It's good to blow it up. Anyway, that's pro tip, not so pro tip, stitcher tip, if you want to call it. That's for that. Um, I had the regular chips from her, too. She's got the regular price ones, but sometimes she has uh, ones that are not so perfect, but still usable. I got the not so perfect ones, especially my first time getting them because I wasn't sure how I'd like them. I have one over there. I just can't reach it right now. But uh, they work well. All right. I received some stuff. This one is when I received the package from uh, J Long. There were other things in there. She found me the last two years of the Santas that I was needed. So they will go in. Look how cute that is. No wonder this one was hard to find. That is cute too. All right. Um, <coughs> she also was offloading some charts. And I got Festive Low Fobs Seaside Edition. I have a few of the Festive Bob ones. Uh, American Edition, Harvest Edition, oh, look at that squirrel, <laughs> Winter Edition, love this, look at those penguins, oh, so good, oh hot cocoa there, and the uh, Stitching Edition, too cute, all right. And then she was getting rid of some fabrics, and I got some from her. These are Cosmos. Cosmos. That's pretty. Um, this one's from Under the Sea Fabrics. That looks pretty good. It's about right. That was 32 count. This one's a 28 count sugar plum, plum blah, 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 words, sugar plum fairies from under the sea. That looks big. I think this is a linen. Is it a linen? Yeah. Um, this is a no name fabric, probably under the sea again, maybe. It's green, bright green. It's an even weave. And it's probably 32, I would assume. Alright. 
And then this one's from Pulse Stitch Designs. It is a fat quarter 32 count opalescent linen. Uh, the name is Taboo. Taboo. And one more. This is from Mystic Fabrics. I wonder if the other one's from Mystic Fabrics then. And this is 32 count linen. The name of it is not on here. It just says 50. I don't know what that is. I don't know. But it's like a tobacco color. Orangey tobacco. Thank you, Jay Long. And she sent me some DMC. All right. My fabric of the month from Grace Notes. A lot of people have shown theirs already. I got this. Um, this is almost like a girly TARDIS. And a daisy. And this is strawberry short sorbet. It's 40 count. Fat quarter. Not sure if I'd have anything to stitch on this. I don't know. I've surprised myself with some of these brighter colors like this, like the pinky colors. I guess if I were to stitch with white, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. This is, uh, I've been getting her fabrics for a while, and I think this is the first time I've gotten a fabric with, where I'm like, I can't even imagine what I'd stitch on it. It's not ugly, but I'm not so sure it's my aesthetic. I'll figure it out. I'll either give it away or something. And I got a package. I did, um, I bought meat sticks. A little Alice. I got a thank you card. Uh, Alice, um, Sarah, my stitching kingdom, her daughter did a fundraiser and I bought meat sticks as the fundraiser. And when she sent them, I had mentioned, I have some pillowcases that are hand embroidered from my friend, my, my BFF, Gina, her uh, aunt had made them. Gina never wanted to use them because they're white and I, I love them. Believe it or not, I love that crisp white pillowcase. So I was thinking maybe I want to do some myself too. And I had mentioned it and uh, Sarah said, you know what? I have this set of two and it doesn't come with the, the threads. You, you provide your own threads, but it does come with the two pillowcases pre-stamped and you cross stitch them. And it gives you, it tells you which colors to use. And it even tells you, I don't know if anybody's done these before, but First of all, it's best if you use a hoop. You don't want to stitch in hand with this. And it will tell you not... You want to integrate your stitches, not keep them apart. So the picture may not have the X's touching, but you want to touch your X's. So just in case, pay attention to the instructions on something like this. So I would like to give it a try. So thank you again, Sarah for that. I don't know when I'll start them, but I have the option to do so now. And they're pretty. They're purple. I got a hankering to buy one of the uh, DMC color swatch books. And I went online looking for it. And I thought I got a cheaper version. It wasn't the cheapest. Apparently, 123 Stitch had it slightly uh, less expensive. But um, I ended up getting mine from Fat Quarter Shop. Well, when I did that, I also got some fabric from them. And I got this chart. Teresa Kogut. That is so cute. It was on sale. Because this should not have gone by itself. Okay, so I've known about these, and I've seen in person the ones with the pictures, which is all great. But can I just tell you, when I opened this book, it seemed like the angel shine from heaven came down, and I was, and, and I heard the music, too, the uh-huh, and I couldn't stop looking at it. 
it is so satisfying. So if you were ever on the fence about getting one of these books, just do it. If you can, do it. It's got everything. Look at that. I don't know how the angels were singing when this devil stuff was in there. It looks good here. Yeah. Light effects are not fun to stitch with. But the rest of it. So anyway, I have some threads that I, you know, I, I knew I'd need this in the near future for different reasons. So I was like, I'm just going to get it while I still can. Um, one more giveaway. This one is Seaside Seasons by Crown and Thistle. I do like it. I'm just sitting here going, I don't think I'm going to stitch it. So why don't I just give it away to somebody that will. And the keyword for this one is Seaside. And that's the last of the giveaways. I do have a plan, you know, when I was doing my nails, I thought about it. Somebody had requested that I video when I'm putting the uh, Color Street things on. I had to think of how I'm going to hold my camera the way I need to. I use my, um, my iPad for these videos. I don't have a MacBook to integrate everything. So I have to, that's why my editing is limited also. I don't have a full on studio guys, but I need to figure out how to get my phone or my tablet to look down on the table for for me to show you how I do it. So I do plan on doing that. I also had an idea of doing, let me know what you think. I had a plan of uh, possibly doing a video of where I shop, like so, whether it be for charts or I've bought bags, I've bought needle minders, I've bought, you know, where, where I buy my things from because I don't have a local needle workshop. There are a few that I've been to, which I will share, you know, my, I don't, I'm not going to, let's just say I'm going to make it pleasant. I am not going to go through who I don't like or don't prefer to shop with. I'm only going to mention the ones that I've had good experiences with good service from whatever the, that case may be. Uh, we can keep the drama for somebody else's mama. How about that? Uh, also, I just got to write myself a note because I just remembered something. Because if I don't, I'll totally forget. So the reason why I haven't done that video yet is because I have this list here. That, you know, when you're like, oh, let me make a list and then you go do the thing and then you're like, oh, my list wasn't complete because now I thought of three more things afterwards. So I just started writing the list today. And then as I think about it, I'm just going to keep on adding to that list. And then I'll just do a video of the places I like to shop from, who I recommend if you care or, you know, or you maybe you want to compare who you like or maybe you want to find a new person or not. I don't know. Whatever it may be. But let me know if you think that's something you want to see. I'll probably do it anyway, but I'm kind of in interested on your feedback on it anyway. I am out of notes, I think. Yeah, I'm still going to be working on my bags. I am still doing arbitrary August. I was able to spin every day except for I'm not going to be able to spin today because I didn't finish all my stitches on one night. Which is fine. I mean, I think I only have like maybe 20 on there. Plus I have my Notre Dame month to do. So I've got enough days to get it all done. In theory. I, I have a couple of things I'm working on. I have ideas. Always ideas. And I'm going to... I should be adding new stuff to my uh, group soon. We'll see. Time permitting, I have things I have to do. Like, I've, I've been working, believe it or not, I have been working on those Halloween boxes since I've, before I made the announcement, I've been working on them. I've been getting stuff in, and I've been doing what I can while I can in between doing everything else. So, things have been moving along. Uh, that's it. I am extra, extra hot. I've got my iced coffee. I have a mess to put away. I have a video to 
semi-edit because obviously my editing skills are minimal, but I try. And um, tonight is fend for yourself night. Well, technically it's not really. I pre-planned. I made taco meat yesterday so they can just heat up the taco meat and make their own tacos. That's the plan. And I have a mess to clean up and some stitching to do, some blends to stitch. I hope everyone is doing well. Don't forget, hydrate. I know I should be drinking water, but iced coffee for right now. I'll drink water later. And uh, don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine.